Hello, Tamriel Outcasts and everyone else who is watching this video. And this is a very short overview of how to use the add-ons dressing room and alpha gear. Uh, these add-ons are used to quickly switch between setups, which is uh, quite nice for when you go into a trial and you want to switch, for example, between a trash setup and a boss setup. Um, maybe a, a bursty setup or if, for example, you're doing random normals and if you are you as a healer but uh, find that you want to do a little extra damage and you want to make sure that you have a, a build that suits it so let me start with uh, how alpha gear works so by default the alpha gear is not bound to any keys and you can just type slash alpha gear and uh, start it with that I have bound it to a key so I can just quickly open it up and close it and you see that um, I already have made two profiles, so I'm just uh, starting with a fresh profile and show you exactly what I do. So by default, everything is empty. And uh, if you right click on build one, which you can see is already bound to uh, some of my uh, numpad keys, num one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, you'll see that this is empty. Now, how do you uh, put this together? Very simple. Uh, first of all, you just need to make sure you have an actual build uh, ready. So I would uh, say find out what you want to make. For example, I want to build a healer. Um, then I, I could put some skills here and uh, well, go from there. So this is something I could run. I don't know if this is uh, well, how most people would run it or if I should be running it like this. It's not really uh, the point of this video. Um, let me uh, see I have this uh, let me put a channel to focus and I guess a purifying light and that means I have my two skill bars I just need to add uh, some ults so I'll put a barrier front bar and I'll put a war horn on the back bar all right so I have my skills sorted um, I also have no gear on, so I will go with something that uh, I think is something I will wear often as a healer, so I'll put on some Symphony of Blades. Um, I will put on some Hollow Fang. So I have all my armor on. Alpha Gear shows you also the quality of the items. I have one item in purple because it's not the right trait. Um, and I will pair this for now with uh, some uh, Spell Power Cure. Olorima, of course, is also a great choice. Um, but um, I chose for Spell Power Cure. Maybe this is a setup where I can't keep uh, easy uh, Olorima uptime on the whole group. So you have your gear ready. You have your. You can see you have all the things slotted. You have uh, all the items and all the skills in the right place. So what you do is... Um, you can uh, just click and you say equip entire gear, but that's not what we need. We need to first save this. And if you right click, it shows inserts currently equipped. And you'll see that everything that I have on, my spell power resto stuff, my destro stuff, and all my gear has been equipped. Uh, a quicker way to do this is by holding the shift key and then just simply clicking that one. And then you have saved your setup. This is your first set of gear that you have, gear one. To save uh, your skills, you can work in the same way. You can say inserts currently equipped. On my, I am on my front bar, so I'm just insert that. I can then switch to my back bar. This time I will use shift click and it's all there. So I have saved this setup and it works really quickly. You can uh, assign this, so I could call this SPC Hollow Symphony or something like that. Then I have a name for this. This is where I save the gear, this button. I uh, click on it with left, then I click one, and then I have saved all the gear. It shows me even that my front bar is a resto staff and the back bar is a lightning staff. You can click uh, on it to change into anything, so like dual wield or uh, sword and board, uh, or something that matches what you uh, recognize. It's not really the most important thing. Uh, but it's nice to see and um, for inserting your gear you do exactly the same you click front bar 
you click back bar, your gear setup is done. If I want to then change to a second setup where instead of SPC I wear Olorima, only thing I need to do is equip the gear that I want, so an Olorima ring on both parts. I'll have to find a stave, so on the back bar I will want my Olorima lightning staff, and maybe I want uh, the Master's Resto staff at the front. So I just shift click again. I can very easily insert things and if I want the exact same skills I will go like this, insert them and then I have, uh, well I like to call it Hololo and Symphony and it's done. However, if for whatever reason you're looking at your builds and you see that something is wrong or you want a different thing, then you could also, for example, insert a different uh, uh, restoration staff very easily by just dragging it onto where the other gear is. And now suddenly uh, the master's uh, resto staff has been changed into an asylum resto staff. So you can actually drop uh, from your infantry and the same works if you would like to apply poisons, for example. Um, I have some here in my infantry and I can just not drag them to this screen, sadly. You have to drag them here. Um, oh, it doesn't seem to work at the moment, but, uh, oh no, it does. Right, so you see that you can just drag and drop. If you right click it, you unequip it, and it's as simple as that. Now, you'll see that you have many profiles here, and this profile is now called Profile 3, and I could just call this Video Demonstration, just so I know that I made it for this. And you'll find that it's immediately at the bottom. And I don't want that, I want this to actually be in the third position. So I can just put sword key 3 and then suddenly it's in the third position. Now if you have more than 10 profiles, now then when you put 11 it will probably go to the second position. It doesn't, well okay, perfect, then you just put 11 if you want this at a different uh, place. Very simple, very straightforward. I have personally set it up in the following way that if I look at my keybinds and uh, you'll find that my controls are split between add-on keybinds and standard keybinds that's with Votons keybinds but yours could be in the regular keybinds. With alpha gear I have just uh, selected num 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for loading 7 builds. I rarely need more than 7 builds but if I do I would just probably add uh, another key or just manually swap. You can uh, say load next build if you just want to go incremental and um, you might want to make optimized uh, setups for different trash packs and you just combine this to a plus and a minus for example to toggle uh, what build you go through uh, or well, other things you can load the whole profile page with extra keys I don't think I need to bind that um, my hiding and showing is F7 and if I want to unequip my entire gear, I press 8. Very straightforward. So dressing room works in a very similar way. And um, I'll uh, go over that. Just so you know, currently I have both active. I would not recommend running both add-ons. Uh, it's just so that we can actually see both things in action. Um, here you can actually see that uh, there's a name to this uh, setup. It says Video Demo SPC Holo Symphony, and if I press 2, then it goes to Hololo Symphony um, with that Asylum bar. Very nice, I think, is that uh, you can see your staff and your helmet setup. You need to drag this around to uh, put it in the position that you like. Um, but you'll see that I have my dressing room thing uh, over here. Normally I would hide that because I don't use the two at the same time. So, um, to open dressing room you can type slash dr, or again, if you want to bind it to a key. And you'll see that I already have some pages uh, from when I used this add-on before. What dressing room can do, and what um, Alpha Gear doesn't do quite yet, is that when you create a page in a certain instance, say you go into a trial uh, location, Halra Citadel for example, uh, you could uh, make the page there and then every time that you port into this particular area you get um, 
that page loading. Meaning it's very simple for you to swap to the setups that are appropriate for that uh, context. I have done that, for example, in Sunspire, or I have it in Halls of Fabrication here, but um, I didn't finish that. Castle Thorn, um, Mal of Lorcash, and I just I have a trash setup. I have one for the first boss, the second boss, and the third boss. Pretty straightforward. And it works in a similar way. Um, I make a new page now. That is uh, actually showing my house, Matisse and Manor. And I have already got my things equipped. If you want to double check that, okay. Um, I will want to put my uh, master staff here again. And I work with the same kind of uh, setups. Shift click to save. My gear, it says healing staff, lightning staff, and it shows when I hover what gear I'm wearing. Shift click for the front bar, I swap my bar, shift click for the back bar. However, be aware that you should always confirm your changes in dressing room. Um, that is the basic of it. Dressing room has some fun other th functions as well. On the top left, you can actually toggle your roll. You can swap to a damage dealer, for example. I have uh, two uh, setups on this tune for dealing some damage. There could be a tanking setup, and back is the healing uh, page, which is my current role. And if you um, click the cork in dressing room here, you can actually find your settings. Both of these add-ons have some really nice functions. You can automatically recharge weapons. Um, so that your soul gems will acti uh, well, actively, even during combat, uh, recharge your skills. Um, you can unequip anti-gear slots in the setup if you want to. You can unequip poison slots if you have something like that. Um, this is just a matter of preference. If you say you want to only load uh, one set, then you can uh, tell the game to unequip the rest. However, if you say, okay, I have several sets that I wear only on body, um, and I have several setups that I only wear on weapons, you could switch between the body setups if you leave this off. So you could, on the stamina character, maybe have Reliquin on body, and also wear, for example, Vicious Ophidian or Numeron Acolyte on body, and um, leave the rest of the slots empty. Whatever you have slotted in your weapons will just remain there, and I think that's quite a nice feature. Um, role specific pages are quite nice. You can um, also uh, disable the notification area. So, if for example I go back to my uh, original page, uh, my default page, it says Warm Allo Master Resto, it will show you like Alpha Gear that this is my uh, setup and it says Waiting for Bar Swap because weapons can't always swap when you uh, haven't bar swapped yet. Um, I don't have all the gear from the setup on my character, so I currently cannot uh, work with this setup. It won't load. It left everything else in place. Right, um, back to the settings. You can lock the notification area if you want that to be uh, stuck. That's fine. Um, it shows uh, messages, so when you switch, you get this kind of a notification. You can disable that. You can change the amount of pages and color, or amount of rows and columns uh, you want to see. So if you want a lot of pages, uh, then you can make that page bigger. Um, this function here is the auto change that you can use to make sure that um, when you load into that particular zone, like Vardenfell, well where I make my uh, most of my zones, or if I want to go into my house and I always want a certain setup there, this automatically loads that page. Um, you can change your default role if you want to, so if you uh, respec a tune from a healer into a tank, then you can change it here with the expert features. You can purge your data. Um, if you switch from alpha gear to dressing room, you can actually try to import things from that, so this is all very nice and elaborate. Alpha Gear has very simple uh, settings, but equally strong. So, show build buttons, uh, how many you want to show. You can actually also make this less. 16 is the default and it's the maximum as well. Um, if you need to swap your weapons, it will show this. 
it will show the equip build in the bottom. It will also mark in your inventory when it's uh, part of a set. You will see this uh, as well. The green ones are from this dressing room. The gold ones are from Alpha Gear. The gold dots, so both of these elements show it, which is why I actually don't recommend running these next to each other, unless you want to go crazy with uh, notifications. The repair icons are nice. You can actually show how much it costs. You can also automatically repair when you visit the store if you want to do this for gold. Um, it can show you the charge on your weapons and it can auto charge. And this is nice. This is in your inventory showing you the colors for the quality and the percentage for how far it's uh, broken. Very nice setups. You can also integrate with other add-ons. So I have not really uh, dealt with this yet, but one of the ways that it can integrate is, for example, saying that you want to load uh, certain uh, setups for champion points when you go and load this part. So um, if you, for example, have this, then you can automatically load some CP and uh, get them loading. I hope this helps. This is uh, a fragment of what it can do. Alpha Gear also has the option to deposit or uh, basically withdraw stuff from your bank simply by entering your bank, opening the screen, and um, if I want to uh, basically grab stuff from the bank, you'll see that I don't have my uh, spell power cure things equipped. If I deposit this into the bank, It will tell me that it's now in the bank by being yellow. And if I click on it, it will actually withdraw this from the bank. And now I have it on as well. So it's nice if you share gear between characters and want to uh, easily withdraw that from the bank. You can do that with the setup as well. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment uh, on the video.